Gotta tell you, this is not how I expected my last full week in June to be going. I'd hoped that by now coronavirus would be on the decline nationwide, maybe even about eradicated by now. Also, I was supposed to be in Germany this week, studying Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Bonhoeffer is a hero of mine. He's a German theologian and martyr who died as part of his opposition to Nazism during World War II. Instead, our class is meeting over Zoom, like where most of my life seems to be happening right now. Today in class, we discuss Bonhoeffer's incredible book, Life Together. In it, Bonhoeffer writes, the body of Christ is praying. My prayer is only a tiny fraction of the whole prayer of the church. So when we pray, we are joining the whole body of Christ in prayer. Maybe this season for you has been a season where all the struggles and anxiety in our world make you feel closer to God, and prayer has felt easier than usual. Or maybe it hasn't. Maybe prayer has felt really hard for you lately, and you don't know what to say. Your mind and your heart have been filled with worry, and prayer just hasn't been happening. I titled today's devotion, Let Us Pray, because prayer is something we always do together as a community. Whether we're praying at church for our community in the world, or we're praying by ourselves from home, we are praying together as the whole body of Christ. There's this story in Matthew 9 where a group of people carried their paralyzed friend to Jesus so that he their friend might be healed. Prayer works a lot like this. Sometimes it feels like we're the ones bringing the needs and hurts of our friend to Jesus. And other times it feels more like we're the ones being carried to Jesus. But in truth, we are always both. We're the one being carried to Christ by others and also the one carrying each other to Christ for healing. So, while we may not be together in person for church right now, we can still pray together. And we still do pray together. We are still carrying each other's needs, hurts, and hopes to Christ. So wherever you find yourself in this season, remember, you are not alone. You are being prayed for by me, by each other, by the whole body of Christ. Amen.